So I was trying to describe Tommy Wiseau. I was trying to figure out a way to describe Tommy Wiseau and describe the room. Um, number one, I'm 95% certain that Tommy Wiseau is an alien. Um, I'm, I'm going to stick with Bigfoot. I, I, I would go Olsen twins for an alien. So, so this is my description. Taylor Swift. Room. Taylor Swift. Yeah. This is my description of the room. This is how the room was made. I am 100% certain of this. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I, 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 I worked, I worked really hard on this description and, um, I'm going to be going to like a different place here, but just follow me on this. Okay. Okay. Way, 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 way far away in a distant galaxy, in a completely different, uh, in a in a space different from our space, in a completely different other galaxy, space. in an other space, so far away, there is a tiny, small planet of tiny green people. Okay. 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 Now, this, this alien planet is in a completely different galaxy, a small planet filled with tiny alien people. They're ruled by a king, an emperor, I should say, and the emperor has a number of people that work below him, and basically that's the government. And um, they, um, they speak an alien language. They're green. They're all green people. And they have bizarre... Uh, they have bizarre bone structures, and they're taller, and it's very bizarre. Anyway, um, they have now we broadcast. A lot, we have a lot of signals, radio signals, and 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 digital signals and analog and stuff going out into space, yeah. and and so far, far away is this alien planet. And they are so far away that they believe that they are the only people in the universe, but they are really the only people in their universe. And there's a number of different universes and they, they just believe that, that like we do here on earth, they believe that they are the only people out there and that the entire galaxy is, is, is just theirs. And they basically stay on earth on their planet and, and, they dream of what aliens might be like in faraway places. Well, one day, the king's scientists uh, are all in a tizzy, and they go to the king, and they say, we have received a signal. Uh-huh. And that they, this alien planet, who only know about their own alien life and alien cultures, they have finally received broadcast signals. From our planet, from Earth. One weird caveat, though. They're only getting the Lifetime Network. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's an alien planet. Number one, they've never seen Earthicans before. Mm -hmm. They've never heard our language. Sounds weird to them. And they don't know that they're watching a a cable network. They don't know that they're watching made for TV, cheesy movies. No. They don't understand what, what a, what a, what a movie is, what this entertainment is that they're watching. They get these broadcasts and they go, Oh, this must be these aliens trying to tell us about themselves. <laughs> this must be the aliens trying to explain to us about their life, their people. We need to have, uh, people study this. We need someone to study this, to watch this broadcast and, and report back to us. We need someone. We need someone. Fetch me the record keeper. <laughs> and suddenly the entire planet is a buzz. Oh, the king wants the record keeper. Did you hear? The king has called for the record keeper. The record keeper? Well, why does he need the record keeper? We need to get the record keeper. Fetch the record keeper. And, and, so the king, the emperor, has a bunch of people that work under him and stuff. Well, the record keeper 
is literally the lowest level person who works for the king. He works in like the sub basement. Yeah. It's just hates it's his just, fucking job. Yeah. It's just him. He's lonely and literally his job is just he's got these big books and it's his job to record every important thing in history. He's writing about births and deaths and jobs that people get and people lose and crime and it's boring and it's just him and he has no life and he dreams of bigger things but he's just in the basement writing mm-hmm. the history he is the record keeper but suddenly he is called the whole planet is a buzz and it's like the record keeper the the emperor wants me why does the emperor want me and he's carried by the alien people into the throne room and he's never been to the throne room before he's literally the lowest level employee for basically the government like even trash men are held to a higher esteem than the record keeper because at least the trash men get to touch the emperor's trash yes this is just a guy in a windowless room writing all day he is literally the lowest of the low, but suddenly he is called to the emperor, and the emperor is there and say, "Lowly record keeper, I have the most important task. We are receiving broadcasts from aliens. It is in a strange language. We do not understand. We believe they are trying to tell us something. We need to know about these people, what their language is, what they believe in, what what their day to day life is. So you must sit here." For as long as it takes, watch all of these messages, these broadcasts. You must study them. You must learn from them. And you must give us your findings. <laughs> you must give us your finding on these your findings on these Earthicans. The mm-hmm. record keeper goes, okay, I will watch these and I, I will get back to you. Thank you, Emperor. This is indeed important, an important job, but I never fear. I I will learn about these aliens and tell you everything I can learn from these broadcasts about what their life is. So he sits down and for a for a day he watches nothing but the Lifetime Network. For a week he watches nothing for the, about nothing but the Lifetime Network. For a, for a two weeks, for a month, for two months. The record keeper just sits there and watches the Lifetime Network. He's watching uh, Tory Spelling movies. Mm -hmm. Daddy, can I sleep with slaps? (laughs) My boyfriend is my sex slave. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Julie's Betrayal. A true cheerleading story. (laughs) Reruns of Dallas and Melrose Place. He's why and he's and the record keeper is watching these and watching these and watching these, but and he thinks that this is what Earthlings do. This is Earthlings' life. Mm -hmm. So finally, he's ready to show his findings. And the entire planet is a buzz, and they they they're everyone's so excited. And the record keeper shows up and says, "I have I have watched four straight months of this Earth broadcasting, and I have learned exactly what a typical day is for the in the life of one of these aliens. And I have I have put it into this script. I call it the room." <laughs> That is how this movie was made. It was made by aliens oh, in an attempt. Were... No, this is how this movie was made. It was made by aliens in order to try and describe our culture. But all that they've done, all that they know about Earthlings comes from the Lifetime Network. It makes absolute sense. It's the only way to explain the movie The Room. It is perfect. It is a perfect analogy. This film was made by aliens. Tommy Wiseau is an alien. Technically, he is the record keeper. It it makes sense to me. 
it makes sense more than the actual story of the making of this film. 